feels liberating to stutter. How many of you feel that? How many of you feel fucking liberated to stutter? It's rare, right? That's what we're going for. And if that's not what you're going for, then you're going for something that isn't going to last. Because if you're not going for that complete freedom to stutter, then you're going to stop stuttering. You're, that's your goal then. Your goal is to never stutter again. And that's not fucking possible. Not because you're a person who stutters, it's because everyone stutters. And if you're hyper vigilant on, if, on reaching your goal of never stuttering again, you're gonna be so in your head trying not to stutter, it's gonna make you stutter more. It doesn't make sense to do that ever. All right. And so that means the goal is to not care if you stutter or not and feel fucking free when you do feel like I'm expressing myself truly. And this is what one of my clients I worked with achieved. And this is a client who shot, who shot me this message. Her name is Bridget. She shot me a message. I believe it was like three months, maybe it's four months after we finished working together and said this. All right, she says, I mean, as you can see, the part highlighted in red is cool, but what I want to talk about is below that where it says, feels liberating when I stutter. And I want to break down how that's possible, how it is possible for her, and how it's possible for you. I want to quickly touch on the four main points that she had to learn, she had to go through to get to this state of being liberated to stutter. And I wanna explain how this is possible for you. So I have notes here I'm gonna look at. Um, oh, I said four things, there's actually three. It's one main title, then three things under it. So overall, what she had to do, and what you have to do, is change the way you view stuttering and change the way you feel about, stu about stuttering. And there's three main things you have to change. Let's dive into that right now. Number one, you and Bridget have, or Bridget, change this. You have to change the value you place in your interaction. You have to change your goal. You, you, you have to place where you put the value of the interaction. Is the interaction in making the, in making the other person happy? Fuck no. Is the, is the value in the interaction um, being fluent? Fuck no. You must choose something that is in your control. And this is something I craft with each, one, with each one of my clients, is what can we actually value? What can we place value in that's in our control that we can do inside of this interaction that if we do it, we can feel good about ourselves. It changes our focus from thinking about the stutter to thinking about something else. And the more you can speak in that free effortless state of, of not, not focusing on your stutter, but something a lot more powerful and in your control, the more your stutter will fade to the background. That's the first thing. And the second thing Bridget had, had to change that you have to change right now, if you're in this spot where you're not feeling liberated to, to stutter, is you must learn to let go of the stories you're telling yourself about your stutter you may have learned or, or have come from some type of trauma. There's stories that's going on inside of your brain that says you're not enough because of this. People won't like you when you stutter. People are gonna tune you out when you stutter. People are gonna talk over you when you stutter. People are gonna be fucking bored by you when you stutter, people are gonna think you're weird. When, whatever these stories may be, what, whatever stories you have that make you feel less about yourself because you stutter, you have to learn to let go of them. This is not easy because you've had years of ingraining this belief into your brain when it's not fucking true. The stutter itself is neutral. Nobody would fucking tune me out if, if, if I talked talk a little bit like, like this. No one's gonna be like, I'm fucking bored. No, it's. It's how you stutter. It, it, 
if you stutter with panic and get me the fuck out of here vibes and being uncomfortable with yourself vibes, the, the other person, if they feel that uncomfortability, most other people will be like, I feel uncomfortable now too. What should I do? I should tune this person out. I, I can't handle this person. That's why you feel that. It's not because of the stutter, but you've ingrained this belief about your stutter when the stutter is just the outcome that comes from a uncomfortable inside. So you must learn to let go of it. And this is a process all my clients go through that I had to go through, letting go of these traumas, letting go of these stories that are no longer serving us. And the third thing Bridget did that you need to do as well is learn to connect with people on a deeper emotional level. And the reason why this is so fucking powerful is because I will probably stutter like now if I felt like I had to stay on service level conversations with people. If I felt like I had to, I would probably stutter more. Why? Because I don't want to fucking talk about that. It's not aligned with me. It doesn't, doesn't give me any joy. It doesn't give me any pleasure. It doesn't make me understand the other person more. It does none of that. The only reason why I would stay in, I feel the, the, like I have to stay in, surf, in service level conversation is, be, is because one, I don't want to know about this person and this person bores me. Or two, I'm too uncomfortable to ask a deeper questions because I'm scared of being rejected or I'm scared of answering a deeper question once they ask me it back. Both of these that stop you from connecting on a deeper emotional level will make you stutter more because that just shows an uncomfortability with expressing your truth. If it's the first thing and this person bores you and you don't want to understand them, why the fuck are you talking to them? Why, why do you not set boundaries in your life to only let people in who fuel you? And if it's coworkers and stuff, you can still do it. There's ways, you don't have to fucking, like if, if I had to work with a person who drained me 24 seven, I would quit. There is no way, my life is worth more than that. Is worth more than, if, if I couldn't change who I work with, I would quit. I, I, would, ra I would rather be scraping for food than living an unfulfilled life because of the people I'm around. So set boundaries in your life for people that interest you and that you want to learn from and that you can't connect with. So that's not number one. And two, fucking be able to understand yourself and have a relationship with yourself where you're not scared to expose yourself. And this is also done systematically to feel safe being yourself. Because once you feel safe being yourself, and you have that self-love, then you can give that to other people as well. Then you can ask other people. Then you're actually curious about other people because if the question responds to you, oh, you, you'll fucking answer that question. And you, you'd be excited to. That makes you a lot, curi a lot more curious about other people as well. And that makes you stutter a lot, a lot less. When you're aligned with yourself and you're not doing and acting in ways because of fear or weak boundaries or judgment, but because it's actually true with you. So let's, re let's recap again. You have to change where you place the value in conversating to letting go of the past stories and traumas that hold you back and say you're not enough. And three, connecting with people on a deeper fucking level. And in those three points, I expanded a lot. Like I dropped a lot of info that took me years to gather. So don't just like click off this video and be like, okay, huh, next one, let's go to TikTok. No, this is life-changing shit. Life-changing shit. And if it resonated with you and you said, fuck this shit, I wanna work on this, then I wanna work with you too. And if you look, if you look at the closest link down below in the description, 
You can there book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. We'll talk, see if we would be a good fit to work together. And if we are, it gets me fucking excited. I would love, I'd love to work with you if you are an action taker and you want to overcome your stutter authentically without speech techniques. I love you. All right. I'll see you on the call.